I will be showing you how to mod FSR 3 frame generation into your game, so you can use DLSS as well as the FSR 3 frame generation part at the same time. And most importantly, I will show you how to make it look and feel buttery smooth. I'm talking perfect frame times. There might be more than a few methods for implementing FSR 3 frame generation, but the advantage of this method is being able to use DLSS and FSR 3 frame generation at the same time, which you can't normally do with the official implementation in the games released so far, as you're stuck with FSR 3. There are a few requirements and limitations for this method. For this to work, you need an RTX 20 or 30 series GPU or above. You need to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling in Windows, you need a game that has support for DLSS frame generation, as this method will replace it with FSR 3 frame generation. Don't use this in multiplayer games because anti-cheat may ban you. When you enable the mod, you will have tearing and the game might not look smooth at first. Don't worry, adjust your settings to hit your desired frame rate, then I will show you how to activate VSync to have perfectly smooth frame times. As FSR 3 frame generation currently works best with VSync enabled from the NVIDIA control panel, and it doesn't work as smoothly with variable frame rates. To install the mod, go to the mod page linked in the description, download the mod and extract it to your desktop. In the folder, double click the disable NVIDIA signature checks registry file and accept the prompts. Then copy the DLSSG to FSR3 AMD is better DLL and nvngx.dll to your desired game folder where the exe is located. And if you want to uninstall the mod later on, just delete the two files from the game folder and run the restore nvidia signature checks registry file. To tell if you installed the mod correctly, launch your game and go to the settings menu. Look for the DLSS frame generation setting. Previously, it was grayed out. Now you can turn it on. Make sure to disable VSync in-game if the game allows you. Now you're not done just yet. Here is where you need to adjust your settings to hit your desired frame rate, which I recommend to be at your monitor's refresh rate, so you can turn on VSync in the NVIDIA control panel for the final step. Now that you're done adjusting your settings and your target frame rate is over your monitor's refresh rate, exit the game and go to your NVIDIA control panel. In the Manage 3D Settings section, find your game and change the Vertical Sync setting to ON. In my case, I have a 75Hz refresh rate display. So, after applying the standard VSync in the control panel, let's launch the game. VSync now works perfectly with frame generation. Tearing has absolutely disappeared, but the frame times are still not as smooth as they can be. If you haven't already, make sure to install MSI Afterburner and Driver Tuner Statistics Server. Then launch the Driver Tuner Statistics Server, select the game, and cap the frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate. And this is the final result. Using the NVIDIA Control Panel VSync and the Driver Tuner Statistics Server frame rate cap, we get absolutely smooth frame times. And most importantly, it definitely feels a lot smoother. For this part of the video, I would like you to tell me which clip you would prefer to play with. The first clip is with frame generation off, at a 37.5 FPS half refresh rate VSync. And the second clip is with frame generation on, at a VSync 75 FPS plus an RTSS FPS cap. 